Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a different location, if you haven't already noticed. I'm in my bedroom because I needed some extra room to show you um, my clothing that I have been picking up recently. Now I'm going to go through a few bits and pieces that are a bit more spring and summer inspired. Um, I live in Australia and we are about to, we're in autumn at the moment, although you wouldn't guess it because it's still really hot. I'm in um, Queensland, so it doesn't really get that cold until about June. But yeah, I thought I'd show you or share with you some of the items that I have picked up recently. So I'll start out with um, the spring and summer clothes. Now, the places that all of these items are from, and I will tell you where they're from in case you are wanting to purchase them, um, but Target, Cotton On, Alley, and Big W are where I've got all these items from. So the first thing is a pair of overalls, um, and they're just the short ones. These are from Cotton On. Now these were on sale, so I don't know whether you can still get them anymore, but I got them in sort of the sandblasted um, color, and it's got the um, distressing on the bottoms and then the bottom, bottom parts of the overalls, and then you can also turn up the cuffs as well. So yeah, and they're adjustable at the top. Yeah, so they're really nice. And I've wanted a pair of overalls like that. The next thing is a top. Now this is from Ali. Now I did actually have to get my mum to take it in because for some reason they sent me a 12. And if you buy something online at Ali and then you send it back, they don't actually send you a replacement, they just give you a credit. So I just figured it would be easier for my mum to fix it up. But it's just a halter neck top. So you can see at the back there that the back's all open. Um, and it's got a zipper at the back and it's a beautiful floral print. So I think I'll probably will get use out of this during sort of the early parts of winter. I can throw a jacket on over the top with a pair of jeans. So yeah, I really like that. The next two items are just some sort of distressed shorts and they're both from Target. Now this is the Lily Loves brand and these are just a pair of black um, high-waisted um, denim shorts. They've got sort of the fraying on the bottom and a bit, a bit of distressing on it. It's also got a natural button fly as well. I had bought these in a really light coloured denim um, ages and ages ago and I really liked them and they're on sale so I thought I'd pick up the black pair. But a very similar pair but this is from the Target collection, not actually Lily Loves and they're that distressed blue jean look so a bit darker than the other ones that I've got. I love the high-waisted and um, they're not really short where your butt's hanging out the bottom or anything like that. So yeah, these ones are perfect. These are all the same and they're from Ali and I love, you'll see that I love high-waisted shorts. Um, so these are just a pair of sort of crepe. These are a sort of a mushroomy pinky brown color, I guess. Um, and they've got like a self-tie on them. You can actually take that off and put a belt on if you want. It's got pockets in the front and they're really, really nice. The only thing I don't like about these is these ones are actually quite see-through-ish, I guess. Like I put on a striped, a black and white striped top and you can actually see the top through the back. So I had to change it over and put like a white top on. So yeah, I'm not very happy about that. But still, I wanted some high-waisted shorts. So yeah. Um, so I got a white pair as well and you're probably thinking, oh no, Kate, if these ones, those other ones were see-through, then these will be too. No, they've actually lined the white ones with um, some lining, a little lined shorts. So that's perfect. I can wear a black top under this one and it's just so, so comfortable. So I got those in a size 12. Um, yeah, all of the shorts are usually a size, pants are usually on me. I like a size 12 um, and any tops are usually a small or a 10. Um, and then I also got a black pair. Now these ones are a slightly different cut to the other ones. They've still got the pockets on the front, but they've also got pockets on the back and they are slightly more shorter than the other ones and a bit more high-waisted, but I actually have, I had a pair of these, um, well, I still have them, but they're in my work um, wardrobe and I wanted a pair in my normal day-to-day -day wardrobe. So yeah, I love those shorts. Okay, so that's it for clothing that's sort of spring-summer. Um, I've got some shoes here that are sort of spring 
ish so I'll go through them now now these are all from cotton on so the first pair are just a pair of tan sandals and they're really quite chunky and the soles, the soles of them are really nice and soft too um, yeah these look really nice they've got a little bit of gold detailing on them so yeah they are really nice and comfortable so as you may have already guessed if I like something in one particular color I get it in the other color as well so I've got them in black these are mainly for work so that I've got something comfortable on my feet and something that's going to support my foot as well when I'm working um, yeah and they're just so nice and comfortable moving on with that theme I love me some thongs especially some that are a bit dressy so I've got these ones here and they've sort of got a bit of a cut out to them along the top so I've got them in black and in rose gold as well so they're really really pretty so in silver and also sort of like a denim blue as well so yeah they're really nice and they are all in um, from cotton on through the rest of my accessories now as well um, that we're now going to moving into sort of the winter type items that I have picked up so these are from cotton on as well these are from Ruby shoes and they're just a pair of sneakers um, that can be just thrown on um, just casual ones and these are sort of that metallic uh, sort of a grayish silver color and I thought that they were really really cool so of course I got them in the rose gold as well because I couldn't choose I could not choose which ones and they had percentage off when I bought these so I really hope that they're still in stock because gosh they look so nice they'll be just so cool to you know dress up um, you know your jeans or your leggings or something like that so yeah pretty cool the next is a two hats now this one is a just a brown um, winter hat and it's got a leather sort of a faux leather um, piece around the top and it's in that beautiful tan color I got this from Big W so I don't know can I pull off one of these hats I'm not sure if I really can I think I need to wear my hair extensions with it but um, yeah I really like them and I really wanted one so I figured I would get one so what do you guys reckon do you think I can get away with this kind of hat I'm not sure I think I need long hair with that kind of hat so and I've been wanting one of the big floppy black ones for ages now this one is from dotty um, it was a little bit more expensive but I did get it when it was on I think they had 30% off or something like that so I think I only paid like $20 for it so it's the really big floppy hat I actually think that I can get away with the big floppy hat <clears throat> oh, excuse my voice I can get away with the big floppy hat with my shorter hair and maybe I'm gonna have to wear my extensions with the other one yeah what do you guys reckon doesn't really suit my outfit at the moment does it not really no the last accessories that I got um, and these are both from cotton on and they're big sort of like blanket scarves um, so the first one is sort of a tartany kind of um, print and it's really really thick so I'm probably not gonna be able to get away with this until it hits like major winter here in Queensland but I just thought it was so nice and it is huge it is like a blanket like literally I could put this out on the floor and have a picnic on it so yeah um, I'm not really quite sure how I'm gonna style this yet so yeah I'm not really sure but I'm sure I'll figure something out other one is a bit more lightweight that one is really quite woolen and heavy this one's a little bit more lightweight but it's still absolutely huge it's kind of got a bit of an Aztec sort of pattern on it and it's in a blue a bluey greeny well maybe it's more of a greeny charcoal color with a little bit of a burgundy brown in it a funny story about this scarf when I got my package I was like oh cool there's that scarf and I'm like hang on a second there's three scarves exactly the same I was like oh Kate did you accidentally put three on um, of them like add three to your cart by accident no they just sent me three scarves for the price of one I was pretty happy about that so I've given one to my cousin and I've given one to my best friend so that was a bit of a score I probably should be returning it but then I have to pay for postage to return it so yeah not gonna do that so I've got a couple of these sort of um, turtleneck type of sort of tops and they're all sort of that longer length as well um, now this one is from Ali. 
I actually got this one in a size medium because I was I wanted to wear it over jeans and I wasn't sure how it would stretch would be in sort of that woolen sort of material and I didn't want it to be tight across my jeans or if I was wearing leggings. Um, and it's got that cable sort of knit along the front so it's nice and thick so I don't think I'll need to wear like a cami underneath it but even if I do that's no biggie. So that one's there and it's kind of not white, it's sort of more like a cream colour. So yeah, that's really pretty. A black one sort of very similar. Now this one is from Dottie and it's in a size medium. So same thing, I wasn't sure how much stretch was actually going to be in the woolenness because I know that wool doesn't really stretch too much. Um, yeah, so it's a bit shorter at the front and a little bit longer at the back and it's got like a split on the sides as well and it's got that sort of similar cable sort of print on the front so really looking forward to wearing that one. This one is the same as that sort of creamy one from Ali so this is also from Ali and it's sort of in a sort of a charcoal -y green colour, I don't know, I don't think, I don't know, maybe this charcoal. Yeah, it is charcoal. <laughs> and it's got that cable knit down the front. And once again, I got that in a medium as well. Um, this is just a plain t-shirt that's sort of got tiny little sort of cap sleeves on it. And it's in a sort of maroon colour. It's got a bit of a fleck like somebody splattered paint on it. I got this in a small, and this is from Ali. It is a little bit cropped, and I was a bit disappointed about that because I thought, oh, I'd be able to wear it with leggings. But I think I'm only going to be able to wear that with jeans. But I really wanted... Um, a burgundy sort of coloured top as you can will be able to see very soon burgundy is going to be my colour of winter I won't be wearing all of the burgundy at once though I'll just put that out there these are from Dottie and they're just high-waisted jeans and they're in that burgundy colour now these are in a size 12 and they're a slim fit as well um, they fit really really nicely I like how high-waisted they are um, yeah, going to look really, really nice with those um, turtleneck tops. And if it's cold, I'll put a jacket on over the top. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing these burgundy jeans during winter. These are a pair of sort of denim jeggings. They're from Big W. Now, I did get these in a size 10 because I do find that um, if I go into a 12, that they're too loose on me. And they're just a skinny leg as well. They're in a charcoal -y color, quite a lighter charcoal, not like a dark charcoal like that turtleneck top was. Um, yeah, it's just got proper pockets on the back, no fist faux pockets on the front, but yeah, I really liked it and just elastic around the top, so they will be really nice. So I've got a pair of white jeans here. Now these are from Target and they're the Lily Loves brand. Now they do have cutouts on the knees and they're the skinny length and I've obviously turned them up because I'm short and I need to have them hemmed. Um, yeah, so they're just a pair of lightweight white jeans. I really wanted a pair of white jeans and I was a bit hesitant about getting these because I didn't want them too tight and look like, you know, how when you got white jeans or lighter coloured jeans and they're too tight, they just, they just don't look right. So yeah, no, these fit really, really nicely. So I'm really happy about those. But I got a cardigan and this is from Dottie and this is in a small and it's a burgundy and white sort of print. Um, it's got no um, buttons or anything down the front, it just falls. It's got some pockets on the front and it's just so warm and cosy looking and I just, oh yeah, I'm just in love with this. Yeah, so I got this actually on sale. I think they had $30 off all jackets. So yeah, I was really happy to grab that one. Another cardigan from Dottie. This is in a small as well and it's in a grey sort of print and it's got a kind of a waffle sort of weave texture to it. Same thing, there's no buttons or anything down the front. It's got pockets on the front um, and just a long line jacket. It's got a little bit of a cuff or cardigan um, on the sleeve. Yeah, so really, really nice and warm. I almost forgot about one other item that was hiding in my wardrobe. Um, and this is from Ali and it's in a size 12 and it's just a um, denim dress. It's got long sleeves which have got that cuff turn up. Um, and it's just buttoned all the way down the front. I just thought this would be really, really cool um, to wear just before it starts getting really cold. And you can just pop on like those little trainers. And um, then when it does get cold, you can pop on a pair of um, tights underneath. So yeah, I really, really liked it. I was really unsure about what size to get. I didn't want it to be too tight. Um, but yeah, this fits absolutely perfectly. Um, it might have just a little bit too much room, but that's no biggie. I can 
put in on the waist with a belt. So yeah, I absolutely love that outfit too. Um, so this is a denim jacket. Now this is from Cotton On. And I did get this in a size 10. And I wasn't really sure how the size 10 would be, but there's plenty of room, so that's good. Just a plain black denim jacket, quite lightweight. I've just rolled the sleeves up. Can't wait to wear that. And I picked up a white denim jacket from Dotty. I do have like a blue denim jacket from Dotty already in my um, cupboard. And I have that in a 12 and I've got this in a 12 as well because I find Dotty clothes sometimes do tend to run a little bit small. Um, yeah, and this fits me perfectly. And I didn't have a white denim jacket and I thought that that would be really, really nice. So yeah, I'm sort of a bit crisp and cool looking. Two items are things that I have just coveted for ages. Uh, when I first put my first order through with Dotty, um, this and they had percentage off jackets, this was the jacket that I so, so wanted. And of course, it was out of stock in every single size and I was so bitterly disappointed with myself for holding off until the last minute to put my order in. And then two days later I thought, oh, I'll just check the website and everything was back in stock. So I just waited and waited and waited and I think three days later they had a 30% off um, sale. So I was like on it straight away, ordered the jacket that I wanted. And it's just a faux leather jacket and it's in a burgundy colour. Um, it's got this beautiful sort of... Um, zipper that sort of goes off to the side so you can actually wear it open like that or zip it all the way up I can zip it and um, it's got some zippers on the sides and I just I fell in love with the color that sort of burgundy deep brown color and I just thought yep that's winter I really don't know how much use I'm going to get out of a jacket like this but I just could not couldn't not buy it so yeah I think it's just going to be one of those pieces that you yeah, you're never going to get rid of. And then this, I was umming and ahhing about whether I would wear it or not. Um, so this is from Ali, and it's in a size small to medium. And it's sort of like a sleeveless cardigan um, in a dark, darker sort of greyish. It's got that mottly grey white sort of look to it, but in the picture there, it does look just grey. Um, and it's got this faux fur trim <laughs> around the outside. But I just thought, oh my goodness, this is going to look so awesome. And I kind of thinking the way that I'm going to style it is, um, you know, with this brown hat, because then it's going to pick up the browns in here, um, or even it, the black hat would probably go just as well as with it as well, just picking up the brown, the black tones, but I just thought the brown hat would look really good. And then just, you know, a white or black shirt and um, denim, denim, some jeans, and um, yeah, these sparkly grey of yeah um, what are these things called joggers <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing all the clothes that I've picked up lately I'm gonna put it out there I am a bit of a shopaholic but in saying that before I buy things online I do a huge clean out of my wardrobe um, and I'm one of those people that turns all the coat hangers around so as I wear something I turn it around so I can see in my wardrobe what I'm wearing and what I'm not wearing and if something has been there for more than one to two months and I haven't worn it and I kind of am a bit on the fence about whether I will wear it, I'll put it into a separate section of my wardrobe. And if I haven't worn it or even looked at it or wanted to pull it out, then I sell it. So yeah, um, I do have a pretty big wardrobe turnover, but in saying that, yeah, I sell things and then I'm able to buy things as well. So yeah, that's how I justify it to myself. Does anyone else do that as well? Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see a lookbook. I'm not really sure how I'm going to film a lookbook because I'm usually try and film when I'm at home by myself so I might have to, you know, um, rope a friend in to help me or something like that. I think that that is it. I'm sure that's it. That's got to be it, right? I've got, that's enough clothes, isn't it? Yeah. Bye, guys.